So Alex Jones wanted me to stop by the studio in, in Austin, Texas and just go there for a couple days. And then three days turned into seven days. And then that turned into, let's do a show. Let's do a, a no, you know my own nighttime show over there and uh, go through the election and then afterwards and everything. So now I'm really excited. I, I got a show on InfoWars. I like Alex because... A lot of people have been, you know, they, they've called him crazy, the and conspiracy theorists and everything. But the truth of the matter is he's been completely vindicated in the been, last few months. I uh, following Alex Jones mm-hmm. since 2006. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's, that's a my, long that was when time. That's longer than me. Right out of college, my buddy, uh, well, mm-hmm. not right out of college, just like a couple years before that. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Um, but my buddy showed me it first. Wow. And I was like, what? yeah, we watched like the Bohemian Grove documentary and mm-hmm. stuff, you know? But yeah, I have been into it since 2006. It was like right around Katrina uh-huh. okay. and stuff. Yeah, he's the man, and, and yeah, he's been right more than he's been he's right. right at everything. And you know, I the one thing of, that's the yeah. real blemish mm-hmm. on his record is mm-hmm. the Sandy Hook thing. That was difficult, um, but I also don't blame him. I mean, if again, if if you, I'm not saying going to make a statement about this right now, but if you if you look at all the coverage and the footage of what happened there, if you look at all the facts surrounding the issue, the event, everything. And the witnesses and the and the stories, it it under it's understandable why he would say that and why he would be led to that conclusion. I know why. I mean, he say. was just playing around with the idea. The he idea. wasn't making any. He wasn't the making facts. any uh, any 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 cement right. claims at all. Right. He was just you know openly mm-hmm. talking uh, talking like about the freestyle off po- yeah possibilities mm-hmm. and and that was that was really it i mean i don't think exactly any- but they yeah. will do anything to smear and censor and stifle anyone that actually tells the truth and you know i would say at least 95% of the time the things that he's done the, the predictions he's made especially now you know with masks and vaccines and what the real agenda is behind this coronavirus and everything i mean it's all coming to light right now so i want to work for someone and I want to be having a platform where I can be fully uncensored, fully, you know, tell the truth and and report the news without being worried about, you know, getting banned or getting censored and everything. And 